Hello, I'm Ibyx Cat, and welcome back to the video. Today I want to talk about one of my favorite things to discuss when it comes to Minecraft, and that is removed Minecraft features. Today I want to talk about five removed Minecraft features that are really, really interesting in their own ways, because they were added to Minecraft at some point in the development process, and then for some reason were later removed. And they're all very interesting because the, you know, story behind how they were added, or why they were going to be added, is kind of cool. The story behind what they could have been if they were added is interesting, but also they could all exist at some point in the future, so I think it'd be kind of cool to talk about them in today's video. Hopefully you all do agree. I'd like to do if you do like it, because it helps out the channel and let's know you do enjoy these sorts of videos but with that said let's get straight into the first of the five interesting removed features which is actually furniture so yeah that's right furniture is something that Notch was seriously adding you know like a, a serious amount of back in the day and you might think no toy cat furniture doesn't make any sense in Minecraft that's why we have some mods however the really interesting thing is is he started adding furniture and he actually succeeded for at least three bits so if you don't know doors were added as a piece of furniture uh, beds were added as a piece of furniture and also the ladder was considered a piece of furniture it's because of all their ways they interact and they're not full-size blocks and if you think about them, yeah, they're not blocks. They're definitely something else, whether you think that's furniture or not. But there actually was other furniture that Notch was intending to add, not only because we found them in the game code of like, oh yeah, here's a chair and what looks like a table as far as I can tell. So there was at least going to be chairs and tables, but also Notch spoke about in his blog post some of the things that he was working on. So he was working on, uh, you know, an update, Minecraft update coming soon with doors, ladders, possibly chairs and signs. And obviously the possibly chairs came in, uh, turned into uh, nothing else. And presumably the reason that he stopped adding after the first three or four is because he realized the number of weird edge cases cases that you get when you have these weird entities and also the performance impact it had because all of these uh, blocks were considered entities for a little bit. He had a lot of, you know, programming issues with these and I guess he decided to abandon it and turn Minecraft into more of a block focused game. However, if it wasn't for that, there would be more furniture in Minecraft. You might just have a table and you might just have a chair too, which again, I find massively fascinating. And this is something that still could come back at some point in the future because a lot of people's favorite blocks are the ones like, you know, the doors and like the ladders that have the functionality. So maybe at some point you'll see that shift back in like the 1.14 update, but you know, the furniture update. Uh, but I think realistically for now, the furniture of just a simple chair and a simple table are probably gonna be left behind for a little bit and maybe, you know, something more complex comes back. But still, the fact that Minecraft was going to have those things, it just seems very bizarre to, you know, the way we play Minecraft today. But that's just kind of my uh, taking it. Maybe it would have made Minecraft less successful, maybe more successful, but I know everyone has a strong opinion on it way. So uh, let's move on to another block, which I think a lot of people have a strong opinion on, including me, actually, because the quiver is one of the most interesting ideas that was almost added to Minecraft twice now. So it was first implemented into the game files way, way, way back in the earliest versions because Notch would work in a previous game which had a quiver. So we just took the texture from that game, he flipped it, so you know, it used to look like this and now it looks like this, and uh, you know, then, then he just put it in the game and he left it there and he was gonna come back to it at some point, obviously to do with the bow and arrow. However, he realized that, you know, there's no real need for the quiver because your arrows can be stored in your inventory. And I guess, uh, you know, he just didn't use the whole uh, thing during the entire time he was developing Minecraft. However, uh, the funny thing is, is they were almost added again because even though Jeb had no intention of using them, while uh, Dinnerbone was working on the combat update, the 1.9 update, you know, the infamous update, uh, he was also uh, working on developing a new way to fire arrows because obviously there was going to be a bunch of new arrows here, so maybe you needed a quiver to work out which one you were firing. So this is what the inventory looked like for quite some bit, and it really looked like the quiver was coming back. There were snapshots with this in there, and, uh, you know, it was actually looking pretty great. However, he then later decided that if you just put the arrows in the offhand, it's just as good, and that's something that I think is a shame because there would have essentially been three separate slots. You could have a bow, you could have a sword, and you could have your own type of arrow, but right now you kind of have to decide, or at least, you know, arrange your inventory around that, which is something I think is kind of a shame because the quiver would have been a cool item and could have had some cool functionality. Maybe it could have been enchanted, maybe you could have got different quivers, but I think the quiver was a great little feature that never quite made it into the game, despite almost making it in there two separate times now. So yeah, that is the quiver. It's been uh, removed as of 1.9, but you never know. There could be a third uh, resurgence and it could just come back one day. Uh, but for now, at least you won't be seeing any quivers in Minecraft. Let's move on to the third uh, one here actually then, shall we? Which is going to be a uh, villager Steve. So this is one of the wackiest ones of the, the least story that's ever been explained because everything else, you know, like there's been some explanation from someone, but this next one is just a random file that was found in the game code and then just kind of sat there unexplained by anyone and then was removed, uh, you know, as of 1.5, the full PC update. So a few years ago, just because they were revamping the textures in the game, but it's one of the weirdest skins because it is a Steve Villager hybrid skin. So it was added at the same time as Villagers. So presumably they thought it would make some sense and it looks something like this and it's just so, so bizarre and creepy. It's one of the weirdest things they've ever put into the game. And I guess that, you know, for, there's, there's a few things you can conclude from this. Uh, you mean, the easy one is just like, oh yeah, maybe villagers were going to look like Steve at one point, but maybe because they added them at the same time as villagers and they didn't remove this texture until much later, maybe there was going to be some way to breed with the villagers and that sounds really ridiculous on the surface, but what if you eat a piece of bread and then you give a villager a piece of bread and then you both eat the bread together and then hearts come above your head and then this thing comes out. I know I'd be horrified and I want to run away, but you know, maybe that's something that, you know, was actually considered at one point and obviously it's a, such a terrible idea that I guess they had to not do it, but it's 
it's still the sort of thing where I just have no idea why this would have ever been useful otherwise. That's the closest to an idea I have. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below, I guess, if you have a better one. But uh, moving on from that one to the fourth uh, remove feature that I find massively interesting, uh, because it is Crying Obsidian. So Crying Obsidian was a block that looked something like this. No, pretty interesting looking block. And it was going to be crafted from Obsidian and Lapis Lazuli. So you combine those two things together and you get this Crying Obsidian. So what was it going to be used for? Uh, back when it was, again, in the very early days of Minecraft, it was going to be used to change your spawn. So if you wanted to change your spawn, you just place one of these. Obviously, that was kind of, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, removed after beds came into the game because they're just spawn changing uh, things that also sleep today. However, these were at one point going to be the spawn changer. And I think they're really interesting because these aren't just the precursor to beds in a way. They're also the precursor to, like, uh, you know, a beacon because they seem like they were going to have a very similar effect of marking where someone was and, you know, having an obelisk or something like that there. And, uh, yeah, the funny thing about the uh, block is, although it seems like, oh, yeah, well, we don't need it anymore. We have beacons. We have beds. Uh, there has been some mention of them coming back into the game because at some point just after Jeb had taken over the game, someone actually asked him, can you bring back the Crying Obsidian or add some new color texture blocks? And he responded with, uh, uh, as soon as I've made preparations for more texture space. So the way he responded to that on the surface, you can argue, well, he was responding to the, you know, the new te color texture blocks, but maybe he was also responding to the Crying Obsidian thing because it is a really interesting block. It's, uh, you know, the way it's crafted is interesting, the way it looks is interesting, and it could have some grand functionality in the game. And bear in mind, this could be coming back some point soon because bear in mind, uh, Jeb has recently made a bunch of texture space because bear in mind, he just added 48 new blocks in 1.12, uh, you know, I believe the update is. So, uh, you know, you've got to bear in mind that means there's a chance that Crying Obsidian could come back and this is probably the best chance of that. So, yeah, yeah, that's a pretty cool little thing. Crying Obsidian might be coming back soon because there's no official reason it should be gone anymore and it is one of these blocks that I feel like they could add any functionality to it and I would still probably love it because it's got a cool crafting recipe and it just, you know, any, any functionality would make it seem great. Like, oh yeah, when you stand on this block, you're teleported to another block of this same type. But, you know, whatever bizarre thing you want to add to it, I feel like it would be great. And it's also a pretty interesting building block. So, yeah, Crying Obsidian might just come back. And its highest chances are actually in the nearest future as of making this video, which is pretty cool if you ask me. With that said, let's move on to the next uh, remove feature, uh, which uh, I find very interesting because it is ski. So, unlike these previous ones where we've had these weird stories of like, oh, yeah, they're going to be this or that, we actually know 100% of the reason behind skis being in the game. And these are one of my favorite ones to talk about because they kind of show that, you know, people, uh, you know, the developers know that people actually look through the files and they know that they get an idea of what's coming with them. So Dinnerbone actually to kind of mess with people in the same way that people look into all of these features and say, oh yeah, furniture might be coming back or quivers might be coming back and they did for a bit or, you know, all these sorts of features. And he also decided to mess with people one time because in 1.4.6, the pretty scary update with the wither, he decided to add skis into the game. Just, you know, no, no mention, just put them in the textures and then lots of people found them and lots of people decided to ask what was going on and he just confirmed it was a red herring. It was there to mess with people. So yeah, skis were, the skins seemed like, 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 like they were going to be in the game for a little bit because he added them into the textures just to make people wonder and it's one of those things which does make you go okay you know all of these features although they were added at some point for some serious purpose every now and then the developers like to mess with us so maybe it goes you know the way of like oh yeah all these things are just there to mess with us or maybe it's the other way maybe they removed and he added that to kind of confirm that you know you can't speculate but who knows what might come back who can say for certain but skis looked like they were going to be in the game for some time and in fact as a fun little you know bizarre you know add on to this whole thing they actually do exist on the in the console as uh, you know uh, part of the uh, uh, festive mashup pack skins and you actually can ride the skis so in a way skis did make their way to the game and that confirms all of these things are very real but anyway i hope you did enjoy this video like if you did like it because it helps out the channel a lot. and let's know you do like this sort of video um i'd love to hear what your favorite ones of these are because i still think that the uh, you know the furniture is one of those big game defining moments and i think the villager steve is one of the most horrifying things i've ever seen but you know if you have some disagreements i do read the comments so I'll give it a try uh, assuming you're gonna write real comments and not like first i used to be donald trump and now i'm a fan or something uh, but then you can do that with the comments down below uh, like it if you did like it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.